But the truth is that you just don't want to accept the fact that he's a sleazeball and he has used you. Way of life as cute. Even in a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's question is about a sister who committed zina and after that, the guy left her. Before we jump into this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. Now let's jump into this question. Assalamu alaikum, brother. I met him on Muzmatch dating app and we started texting day in and day out. We had good conversations and we started to see each other and we grew closer and closer. We grew so close that we committed zina. He told me ever since we did that, that his connection with Allah has been down and is lower. Let me translate what he means by that in guy code. Damn, how do I get rid of this girl, man? She's so clingy, she keeps hitting me up. I know, I'm gonna make it a religious excuse so she can't say nothing. We didn't see and speak as much due to his exam. Here's the guy code translation. God, she keeps hitting me up, man. Um, I'ma just tell her that I have school and that I'm a little busy right now. Like he didn't respond ASAP anymore. It was more after five hours sometimes. Guy code. Bro, this girl keeps hitting me up, man. When is she just gonna get the signal, get the message? I ain't into you no more. <laughs> he prayed istikhara for a week and as soon as he prayed, his feelings started becoming less and less for me. But he tells me all this on a breakup phone call. Guy code translation. God, I gotta get rid of this girl. I'm not gonna meet her in person. That'd be too weird and awkward and then she might find out that I've been lying to her this whole time. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just call her and break up with her because it'll be easier that way. Plus I gotta go meet my other girl in a few. And he tells me that he is in depression because his work is bothering him. Guy code translation. I'm gonna just tell her that I've been feeling really sad and low and my imam's really low and I just need to distance myself from you and everyone else because my connection with Allah is weak. <laughs> He is a perfectionist and his career is very important to him. My logic says that Allah took his feelings away because of the zina. But we made Tawbah to not do it again and to get married. He is even back on the same dating app, Muzmatch. He doesn't have any feelings anymore, just on a friendly basis. Guy code translation. Man, she just doesn't get it, does she? You're not allowing me to have sex with you anymore, so I'm not interested in you anymore. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, Time for me to sign up for Muzmatch again. I keep thinking, did he use me? Or is this the outcome of istikhara? Sister, what I'm about to tell you and any other sister or even maybe brother uh, watching this right now who is suffering through such a heartbreak where certain situations like this unfolded, what I'm about to tell you right now might shock you, might even hurt your feelings, but believe me, that's not my intention. But I need you to listen up. Some guys just want to smash. That might not have been their intention, but once they got a taste of it, now their intention has changed. And they may have wanted you before, but now that they've had sex with you, they're done with you. That's not every guy, but there's just some scum buckets out there, such as this guy, who did that to you. He's accomplished something and he's achieved something, so now he's gone. And the truth is, sis, that uh, you made a cardinal mistake, which was giving something that he was really pursuing for. And it's your ultimate ace of spades. When you don't give this up to anyone, they will keep chasing you. Because you gotta make sure that if they want that, they gotta put a ring on it first. And it's not your fault. It's not because you did something wrong. More than likely, he realized his true potential. The fact that he can meet someone off a dating app and he can have sex with them. This is an incredible offer. And on top of that, he's probably a little insecure because he probably lasted no more than 3.18 seconds. <laughs> He might use such a thing to attribute to your character so that he makes an excuse, gives himself a valid reason to not marry you. But once again, he's just found out the ultimate life hack in which he can date a girl, sleep with her, and then get away scot-free and go back to the dating app and try once again. He's shown you signs of being a manipulator, yet you keep making excuses for him that he has a school project. Trust me, when you love someone, you would put the school project away and talk to that person instead. You will find a way to respond to them and make things happen. But the truth is you're making excuses for him because you're in denial and you keep believing that he's this nice, awesome dude. But the truth is that you just don't want to accept the fact that he's a sleazeball and he has used you. You have to realize something, sis, that uh, a love removed a very sleazy, disgusting human being from your life. And I know something awful has happened to you, but believe me, it's a cheap price to pay rather than 
marrying someone who would do this to you behind your back. He keeps giving you excuses about his connection with God, but if he truly wanted his connection with God improved, he'd try to make sure that your connection with God is improved as well. And the fact that you're not putting out for him anymore has kind of made him distance himself from you. And now that he's back on the Muzmatch dating app, he's sort of not interested in you anymore because you're not putting out for him anymore. And he wants someone who is going to put out. Whoa! He keeps talking about how his Iman is low, but I want to ask you, where's your Iman right now? Forget him for a second. Focus on self-love. Focus on your own self for a minute. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. But right now is the perfect time to be a little selfish. I know this is going to suck and hurt, but sis, the truth is he just doesn't want to be with you anymore. And guess what? you might not have been his first victim. He joined the app again because it's time for round two or round three. Maybe he has other profiles on other dating apps as well. You really need closure. And right now, because you're Facebook stalking him and WhatsApp stalking him and overall social media stalking him, that's showing that you're suffering through post-traumatic stress. And just remember, it's important to acknowledge these things and now take some time to reflect and realize that those are signs that you haven't healed yet. And you need to spend some more time with yourself and develop more love and empathy for yourself. Best thing that you can do right now is take this time to heal. Heal yourself through improving your connection with Allah. And take this time to discover who you really are. You're not someone who's codependent on someone else to find love. Allah is reminding you that you have to be dependent on Him and not no man. I know this sucks and I know it hurts. And trust me, sis, he will get his one day. But I want you to be so in love with yourself that you focus all your energy on making yourself happy. How? Through obeying and pleasing Allah and associating your happiness with the pleasure of Allah and aligning those two things together and telling yourself that if Allah is happy with you, that's when you're happy. Any other way, don't matter. But the biggest thing I want you to take away from this message sis, is that I don't want you to judge yourself. I don't want you to draw conclusions about yourself, about how awful you are, how stupid you are, how gullible you are. People make mistakes. And I don't want this one mistake to define who you are as a person. Consider this a mistake. Consider this a learning curve. And consider this a cheap lesson to prevent you from an expensive cost down the line. One poor decision doesn't define who you are, but take this time to realize that this was a nudge from Allah to get you to turn back to Him. So please, turn back to Allah and use this for what it is, which is a learning experience. Well, that was the video, guys. I appreciate you watching so much. Tell me in the comment section below, what would you have advised a sister if she hit you up? Tell me in the comment section below. Say something supportive, give some words of encouragement, or the least that you could do is make a dua. But if you don't have anything positive to say, I'm gonna recommend that you stay silent, which is the actual sunnah. Please tell me some major takeaways that you had from this video. And remember, if you benefited from this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And if you have a question that you would like to be featured on Ask SQ, make sure that you email me or DM me. And until next time, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh.